I am not missing my flight this time. Welcome to San Diego, the local time is approximately 11.39. Look who it is. <laughs> so our Uber took us to the wrong parking lot and we had to walk like a mile to pick up our rental car. With our suitcases. With our suitcases, <laughs> as you guys just saw. So that was interesting. But in Denver, we got a Tesla Model 3 this year. Let's do this. Whoa. Let's go. How's it feel to drive? Terrified. <laughs> Why am I driving this? <laughs> Send me back to my Tesla. Ah, uh, there's too many buttons. Welcome to San Diego, the land of my childhood. The land of our mothers. The land of our mothers. A long time ago. So two weeks ago, what'd you say? I said, hey, you want to go on a disc golf trip? And Alex was like, sure. And he was like, where were you thinking? Me. Yeah, where at? Yeah, all the way across the country. Why not, right? San Diego. Yeah, California. San Diego. I'm like, oh, San Diego. Which, you know, at first you just kind of pass off as like a joke, but then I'm just kind of thought about it for a few days and like, why? Like, why not? What's stopping <laughs> like, us? Nothing's stopping me. Here we are, two weeks later, on a trip and uh, visiting some family. And of course, there's gonna be some disc golf. Yep. Duh. Duh. Gotta mark off another state off our list. For those that saw the Denver series videos, David whooped us. Demolished. Demolished. <laughs> he spanked us. So um, I'm pretty sad on beating you as much as I can this week. Oh, this yeah. weekend. I'm kind of determined I'm coming. I've been working on my putt game, my weakness, and my putt is doing better. So we're gonna try and knock down some putts and uh, beat this kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're chilling in this Corvette. It sits low. Very low to it's, the ground. It's very loud. Draws a lot of attention, which I don't like. <laughs> I don't like attention. But anyways, we're gonna go play disc golf right now. Um, Morley Park is where we're headed, so let's see how this course goes. Just finished Morley Park, and apparently David is telling me this is the most played course like in America. Yeah. Like the busiest course, and sure enough, there was somebody on every single hole. It Multiple was. Multiple people on every single hole. Multiple it was groups. insane. Multiple groups. It was so packed, and like we were just held up the whole time. So pretty short course that you could finish in 45 minutes easily. It took like an hour, 45 minutes. There are some really fun lines, really fun holes. It was a fun course overall. I'd rate it a good uh, 4.2. I put a 4.5 <laughs> on you, Disc. Oh, man. I already rated it. David got minus 7. I got minus 5, so pretty tight. Not a not a total blowout. I was right with him at minus 5 for a while, then he pulled ahead with two more birdies near the end. But now we are on our way to our Uncle Brian and Aunt Jane's. Ooh. We're going to cook out at their house. Should be a good time, a good evening, to chill. Eat some good food, but we're stuck in some traffic. We're slowly getting there. We'll get there eventually. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Sounds a little bit like Danny's motorcycle. Yeah. Ooh, this place is beautiful. It's dark out. Wow. She wants to see you, so she'll come over and get your lap in a minute. Oh, okay. 
I can't wait for that. Turn on the pool lights. Oh, yeah. Ooh, those lights. My ah. dad's favorite spot is back there. Yeah. Look at this pool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Uncle B, you got a nice house here. Thanks. <laughs> jump in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> jump, jump in the pool. You first, and I'll follow you. Well, oh, there's some flames. Flashlight. Oh, there we go. Looking tasty. What do you think? Oh, awesome. You got some nice, uh, nice shots of your cooking right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sweet. Love you. Mwah. Mwah. You want to go down there and make sure I don't bottom out? Yeah, I'll make sure you don't bottom out. All right. Peace and blessings. Oh, yeah, you good. It's not that steep. Just go at an angle. It's pretty steep. Oh yeah, you're good. Yeah. After a good night's sleep, it's now time for a full day in Southern California. And it is my turn to drive the vet, which we've already seen too much footage of. Or not enough. We drove to San Marcos, my former hometown, and started off the day playing disc golf at Brangle Terrace, which ended up being our favorite course of the trip. It was a nice, chilly, foggy morning, which made for a nice, relaxing round. We met a couple in front of us, Juniper and Courtney, who invited us to play with them as we were obviously new to the course, which ended up saving us at least 30 minutes, as the walks to some of the next tees would have taken forever to figure out. There were so many beautiful tee boxes and some very enjoyable and unique lines. It was hilly, we had a couple monster rollaways, which is always painful but hilarious, and eventually the fog burned off and it was a beautiful, sunny day. We then continued on to visit me and my family's old house, which I grew up in. There's the park we used to always go to. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, I kinda, things are kinda coming back to me. Yeah. There she is up there. Woodley's Glen. Oh, man. There's first light. Look at those trees next to the house. Holy smokes. Those were, like those were bushes. Yeah. In that path, there was nothing on the side of it. Actually, Grandpa, I think, planted those. That was my, uh, that was my room right there. Slept in that room for many years. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. How many opportunities I should just do are you it? gonna have? Go knock on our old door? Yeah. Just yep. say hi. We're gonna go say hi to the people that live here. Nobody picked up. Yeah. The old neighborhood. Feels great out here. Okay, go ahead, Alex. I'm here interviewing Alex Kenny, master magician and basketball player. <laughs> Alex, can you tell us how old you are? I am 12 years old. What's your favorite class? I'd say I like PE and I like multimedia class too. Cool. Next stop, Fidel's. We enjoyed a meal at one of our all-time favorite spots growing up. And we continued on to visit our grandpa's old house, which he lived in for 45 years, and where both me and David's moms were born and raised in. The amount of memories held here is insurmountable. Oh, true. 
And yes, that is me and David in the backyard of this very house in the late 90s. We tried our luck at knocking here as well. But of course, nobody was home. So we went and played one more disc golf course for the day at Kit Carson Park. This course had a great atmosphere and landscape, and it just felt like Southern California. And you missed the Mando. There was such a wide variety of unique shots, short and long. On this hole, we had to walk through a ditch to get to the tee pad, just to walk right back through to continue on. Oh, yeah. There were these fantastic overhanging trees that stopped David from hammering some of his shots, but he found a way to bring his forehand shot to life as seen on this shot. Oh, baby. Oh. <laughs> and as much as I tried, David kept birdieing and birdieing and I was struggling and I just could not keep up, resulting in the biggest stroke differential of the trip. We finished off the day grabbing dinner with Cole, my best friend from childhood. On Sunday, we hung out with some extended family with whom we were staying with and went to Huntington Beach with our cousin-in-law, I guess, Hudson, to play our last disc golf course of the trip. The feel of this course combined with the fantastic weather made for such a fun round. And with all of the trees and the general layout of the course, there were some more brilliantly placed overhanging trees that left David with no other option other than to not hammer. So he struggled this round and my game came to life and I pulled out a cruising victory on this one. That's unfortunate, right next to the basket. Yep, there's a heavy breeze coming out of the, the, the earth. Yeah. We finished off the trip on Monday, hitting up a local breakfast spot and heading to the beach in Del Mar because it felt like an obligation before heading out. We walked down and back up the beach. There was a very high tide. David had to jump up on a rock for the life of his feet, which he did not save. Then we dropped off the rental, hopped in an Uber to the airport, and enjoyed our last moments in San Diego. 